Okay, so I'm gonna be totally real with you. Uh, we went out last night in Vegas. Josh, who was holding the camera, is doing a remarkable job, not just falling down, shaking. I know he's in, he's in trouble right now. Uh, but we powered on through, we're back. This is the final day of nationals. I wanna do a quick recap of yesterday though, because it was great. Um, the men's 89 kilo cash beer was a weird one because we saw Andrana Karapetian from Armenia go up against some of the top US athletes. We had Bo Brown, we had Nathan Damron. And in the snatch, he was able to hang. Obviously, he's, you know, he's lifted more. Um, he snatched 165, so about 10 kilos down on where he was at Europeans. Nathan did brilliant, 160 at 89, which I think is maybe right around his best in the new category. Carapetian does. He opened light and he didn't even attempt his final jerk. He ended up with a 180. Kilos, uh, and so he became national champion. But that whole battle was like, like, a whole lot of fun. You haven't been over those? No. No, <laughs> no but you've hit 40, 80, a lot. Yeah, like twice. Three times, maybe. Can you jerk something big since uh, I hit 200 about since uh, yeah. Yeah, a month ago, maybe? Right. <laughs> At the same time as that was the women's 71s, which I didn't have time to be doing both. I did manage to get over and film some of Meredith. I got her doing, the, I think it was a 99 kilo snatch in the back room, 103 opener. It looked pretty good, and then she ended up missing the final two, which would have been competition record for her. But it's funny because I was thinking, like, imagine being an 89, you turn up and you've got to compete against Cara Petty. And I was like, actually, Imagine being a 71, turning up and realizing you've got to compete when it's a world champion, because Meredith's a world champion, so... Um, yeah, the, the standard of lifting has been, has been incredible, and um, yeah, I kind of want to come to more of these, honestly. Okay, so next we have... I think it's the men's 102s right now. It looks like Wes is going to win, which is kind of no surprise, but I didn't know if he was going to be in great shape. Uh, he snatched 68. Um, and he's down at 102, obviously, so that's, that's pretty good. Clean jerks are going on now, so I'll probably put in a couple lifts so you can see what happens there. Uh, and then we've got some really exciting sessions. We've got the men's 109 plus, which is going to be some great US athletes like uh, Alejandro Medina. Uh, but then also we've got the big boys. We've got Gorman Asian, uh, Virazdat Lalian, and they've put in 450 entry totals, which is a pretty big entry total because the, the, the 20 kilo rule means that they have to open up within 20 kilos, that's so 430. So we're going to see at least 200, 230, or 195, 235. My feeling is that they'd probably both rather snatch 200 than clean and jerk 240. Um, so I reckon we're going to see more of like a 200, 230 rather than a 190, 240, but we'll see. <laughs> And 
And then also the women's supers is going to be great because we haven't seen a battle before between Sarah Robles and Coach Mary. And you know, Sarah Robles, she's been around, she's been doing it for longer, she's got the snatch. She's definitely a mid-twenties type of snatcher, um, whereas Coach Mary just isn't yet. But Coach Mary's got the clean jerk. Co Coach Mary's got the, to the um, clean jerk record, all time. Yeah, the all time USA clean jerk record. So Mary was telling me that they'd never competed against each other properly. So that's gonna be, this is gonna be the first time that happens. Then I was just to talking to uh, Tim Swords, Sarah's coach, and uh, he said that Sarah's actually in pretty good shape right now. So that might be like the battle of the competition so far. So uh, we're gonna head back in and um, yeah, see how it goes. 77. Oh, the, the, the Mexican. Yeah, yeah. Because you're what gonna are you have. Um, my PR is 208. What's his? 215. That's okay. You're he did, he did 77, 215. So who's like the the Mexican? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't, I don't remember abs, his name. Yeah. Because yeah. other than that, there's no Kaiser. There's no Fernando. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he's gonna be. The, He's gonna be the top one. The, the top one there. Yeah. He makes a mistake. Oh, and, and, and Kane, of course. Is Kane competing? Yeah, yeah. At yeah. But I think Kane is Kane is in the same realm of of um, Jose, Jose, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're both 170 plus, two, 210 plus. Yeah. Can I ask? So you won the snatch. Yeah. What does it feel like having Armenians there? Do you like? Just separate it and feel like you know what this is a different thing. I don't even. Yeah, I didn't. I, I didn't, didn't really compare myself to them. Yeah, I think, I and mean, we all have an understanding that it's different. Yeah, okay. for the most part, I think most people here understand. Right. right Do so, you think they understand? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you're only you're only 31 kilos behind in the snatch. You can make that up on the clean enter. Probably yeah, 31 I mean, kilos when, behind in body weight too. That's true. <laughs> when you're having a good day and they're having a bad day, it's only 31 kilos. Yeah. You know? Only 31 kilos. Yeah. So when you put it like that. Yeah. Welcome to the coffee shop with me, Sev Ostrovich, uh, man of mystery, and Max Ata, local San Fran coach himself. Um, we just finished the final part of the final day of USA Nationals. Uh, all in all, fantastic. Two main sessions, I guess, to cover right now. Supers on both sides, and they both promised to be good. But did you only watch the men's? I only watched the men. Yeah. So on the men's, obviously it was the two Armenians are going to run away with it, and they did. But um, Medina did brilliantly. We got to chat with him after snatches. Um, what do you think of his lifting? It was great. Yeah, yeah. snatch 170 was really smooth. Yeah. Uh, what do you clean here? 205. 205 on his second really, attempt, yeah. and then just declined his third because he was yeah. so far ahead of everyone. Yeah, really, really nice. He looked great. Yeah, he just needs to just continue on. Like he's not doing anything wrong with his training. Yeah. He's just progressing. Uh, and he's got Mizzity Nate uh, coming to like train and live with him in Florida, so that's going to be good. Um, so yeah, he smashed it, and then Sung An did a 150 snatch in the back room, but only made 145 on the platform, which is yeah. a shame. But I really like his lifting. I just he, and I like him as a guy. He's very fun. Yeah. Um, and then wasn't it weird when the Armenians actually just did the snatches? Like lots yeah. of people turned up. They got right close. Everyone was excited. A lot of the American guys that I was there, like talking with, had never seen a 200 kilo snatch. Yeah. I'm like, fair enough. Most people have never seen that, and they were just like, "What the fuck is yeah, happening?" Yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, it was a bit unfortunate because there was almost nobody in the audience. It was pretty yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah, it was a shame, but, but I think they were actually competing with each other a little bit because Gore did that 200. Yeah. Then Lally into 201, and then when Gore missed 205. Um, Lally and Decline. Yeah. Because like, I've got you by a healer, that's all I need. Yeah. Uh, and then in the clean and jerks, I, I had to go off and film some other stuff, but uh, they both hit 220 as an opener and then declined their second it. and third yeah. attempt. So very easy wins, uh, but it's kind of bizarre. Yeah. yeah. Um, And then on the women's side, you missed this, I guess. The whole thing was it was Sarah Robles versus Coach Mary, Mary Tyson Lappin. And that was, yeah, it was cool because 
Sarah is the snatcher. She hit 120, which is a little bit low for her. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mary hit 116, which meant that she would then need five kilos more in the cleaner jerk to win. So they both put in 145. I was in the back room just filming them go back and forth. They both put in 145, and then suddenly Sarah's like, I'm doing 150, so then Mary moved up to 150. Sarah came out at the 150, and then Mary's like, well, I don't, I'm just gonna do 155. So she opened at 155, which is huge. Wow. Hit that. Sarah came out twice to try 55 to reclaim the lead again. Missed it both times. Wow. So, really? yeah, so we found that Mary just won it on her opener. Mary then came out for 163, which it would equal the PR, right? It, that equals her American records. It was a bit strange. What an odd attempt. I wonder if it was the total record. No, because the total record would have been like in the. It's got to be higher than that because. Cheryl or Robles was doing bigger snatches at 116. Right. And like oh, yeah, because Sarah's done 290. Yeah. Was it her world team side? I would have thought she'd already be on the world she'd team. She'd already be on the world team because she just I think they're both on the world team actually together, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she came out for the 163. Uh, it just looked like she rushed it and she dived under it and sort of came onto her toes. And then her knees came down onto the platform, and then she dropped it onto her thighs. Oh, and the, the, and the plates it. didn't hit the ground. So, like, she took the weight, and she, I mean, she was hurt. She had to decline her third attempt. She got helped off the platform. Hopefully, it's just like muscular bruising yeah. type thing. Um, because we'd already seen a, a bone snap, which is horrible. I don't yeah. know who it was. Zach told Macy me about Wynn. it. Who? Macy went out of practice. Macy went. Yeah, I saw Zach this morning, and he said that he was there, like, in the back room watching it. Um, and she just tried to save this jerk, came down, her leg was like a mangle, came down on her tibia, and it just... So, when you then saw Mary drop it on her femurs, I was like, I know the femurs are stronger, but... I had a good friend snap his femur. Really? Well, not like snap, but he broke his femur, dropping a weight. Yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, horrible. like breaking the bone, like a clean break, is probably better than a lot of really bad soft tissue injury. You know, tearing tendons really? and ligaments. Yeah, because the bone will heal relatively straightforward. It's just it's a bone. Never good, but like if you tear a bunch of ligaments and mess up the joint, yeah. not as there's much worse. So yeah. Um, so yeah, now we're just in a coffee shop. We're doing a bit of work on weightlifting AI um, in the community, uh, looking at some of the PRs. Um, answering questions, that sort of stuff, which is fun. And then, I don't know what the plan is, but we're gonna head to San Francisco tomorrow, back to Max and Joe's, where we're gonna create a ton of content for you guys on YouTube. So, um, yeah, we'll do some more vlogs as we go, but I think from, uh, from Weightlifting Nationals, that's it from me and Max. Um, you got anything else to say? No. No? That's good. Nice one. All right, we'll catch you guys in San Francisco.